What's up, YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishop's Breaks, and today we have ourselves a brand new product. Uh, this product just dropped uh, the other day, at least, so not retail-wise, not on big any big retailer site. No, this was a Kickstarter that I backed in November. It was fully funded on the 1st of December 2022, and we got, I guess I got my... Uh, my box, my package of all the different booster boxes, starter boxes for this new Life TCG set. Uh, it's more of a CCG than a TCG. Um, but I got that on March 13th. So I believe at the time, at least of recording this, this is the second video that's getting recorded for it. By the time it comes up on YouTube, it might there might be a couple extra. Uh, but today, uh, we have ourselves two starter boxes of life tcg now the one cool thing about this trading card game is that the first edition hollows are sequently numbered to the population uh so the amor leopard there's about a thousand amor leopards left in the wild so there are a thousand first edition foil amor leopards there are about five thousand wild dogs left in africa so the first edition wild dog hollow Room to about 5,000. And then so on and so forth, depending on the population of each animal. Uh, the main thing about this set is to teach about conservation. And the link to um, the website is going to be down in the description below um, for this. They did say that they were going to be opening up to more orders after the initial pre-orders from the Kickstarter uh, were all sent out. So definitely check out the link down below. And hopefully there's more orders that do come out in the future because i would love to pick some more up probably uh, let's get this out of the way now in each starter box starter yeah starter box uh we're looking for five first edition hollows which you know in a starter box like this seems like a lot let's see how we open it up see the first the worst thing about there being you know only one video on YouTube about this product is it's like you don't really know what everything is. Like it's that mystery. There we go. All right, so let's get our first little starter box. There, let's get our second starter box. Put our second starter box off to the side. Uh, we will get to that one in a moment, but these are adorable. Like a little little booster box. Uh, the packs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my honest opinion based off of card quality. Let's move our box cutter out of the way. Pack feel. Uh, the packs. I mean, they feel nice. They feel like a sturdy material. Um, and they rip. Uh, it's a little little tough up there. Um, but for the most part, uh, they let rip fairly easily. Alright, centering wise, they appear to be a little off center. Um, mm, yeah, they appear to be a little off center. Uh, but we have a chipmunk, a mouse, bottlenose dolphin, a walrus, a wild horse, vicuna. We have a Borneo pygmy elephant. That's a rare. Uh, we have a Canadian lynx, which is an uncommon, giant river otter for the uncommon, and the wolverine uh, for the uncommon. And how do you know which is which? The chipmunk you see right there, it's the first edition C. Um, so we have all the Cs. Our Borneo pygmy elephant is an R. And then there you go, the ca uh, Canadian lynx, the giant otter, and the wolverine are all listed as uncommon. Now, I am... I, I was so eager about this set when it came out uh, that after it backed, I had started DMing uh, the creator of uh, the Kickstarter, and I was like, "Yo, what you you gotta you gotta get a reptile set out there? Like, you get a reptile set, I will." Oh boy, so yeah, packs not the greatest. I mean, they're not the worst, but they're not the best, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, so I was DMing them. And I'm like, yo, you gotta, you gotta get out there, and you got to, 
Oh, there we go. First edition hollow uh, for our polar bear. So population 30,000. Uh, so is it numbered on the card? It's not numbered on the card, uh, but this are, there's only 30,000 roughly. 30,000 of these polar bear hollows uh, minted. The gray face Sengu, Southern White Rhino, and the Alpine Ebex. Uh, but I was DMing them, and I was like, hey, you got to get a reptile set. You got to get a bird set. You got to get an ocean life set. You know, I will, if you create these things, I will literally, you know, I don't even care how this how this first set does this mammal set went. You know, I, I would I would back any other set that came out. And we have our rares, um Haney and Gibbon, Grey Wolf, Cower, and Okapi. Uh, the ghost of the forest, the Okapi. Um and I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but in the DMs at least, uh I was told that those were more or less already the plan. Uh, as long as this one got backed, is that they would look into creating different sets for um, for this series. So hopefully uh, those come to fruition, and we end up with a lot more of these sets. Oh, that's our rare uh, Wolverine. It's actually a Hollow Wolverine. There we go. So about 30,000 for the Wolverines right there. Their second hollow of the box. Uh, the Yak, Greyface Sengi, and the Cheetah for the Uncommons. So hopefully I didn't get in trouble by saying that. Um, but that's at least what I'm, uh, what I'm on the impression of is that that is a possibility in the future. Um, barring how successful this product is. You know, making content out of it, you know, spreading the word about it. That's the best way for things to like. Here we got a second Borneo Pygmy Elephant. Um, just the best way to get things out there is to talk about it. If you're passionate about something, if you really enjoy something, let others know. And the best place to do that for me right now is on YouTube. You know, open up packs, get people interested, you know, more DMs to the guy saying, hey, guess what? We want, you know, we want to open up packs of this. So that's the last for, you know, second edition. There's our third hollow of the box, the Dugong. Good old Dugong right there. Canadian Lynx, the Red Panda, and the Blue Whale. All right, but yeah, so hopefully everything goes well with this set. Uh, we will have tons of more Life TCG in the future. I don't know the exact time frame um, for when more will come out, but I know more will be coming out. Uh, Seola is our rare Warthog, Manatee, and another Blue Whale. Um, just because there's a lot of Pokemon coming out in the upcoming weeks. Um... So I believe on Friday we'll be having some Crown Zenith uh, tins. Uh, those will be coming out for the next couple of days. Uh, the Legendary Bird uh, tins. And then we have um, the... Uh, what's it called? The new Scarlet and Violet Pokemon set too. Coming out in a couple weeks after that. Uh, we have our Orca Hala. Beluga, Wild Buffalo, and a Blue Whale. So this does seem like a very fun set to build. We got our last two packs of our first starter box. So let's I'll put that pack to the side. Here we go. And open this bad boy up. Bobcat, Red Kangaroo, Zebra, Buffalo, Orca, Narwhal, Dugong. Oh, got a second Dugong Hollow. I believe that's all five of our Hollows for the box. So we're cornering the market here on the Dugong Hollow. So if you need a Dugong Hollow, 
hit me up. I'm looking for any sloth hollows. Uh, my sloth is the, my favorite animal. And there is a pygmy sloth. I believe it's a hollow version in, uh, for the hollow set. So, oh, looking forward for that one. Hopefully we can pull that one. Rare is the gibbon. Jaguar, panda, and the Tasmanian devil. So, fun fact, a lot of the problems with the Tasmanian devil population out there is actually due to the lack of the thylacine, or also known as the Tasmanian tiger. Uh, because of uh, that, the Tasmanian tiger was the main predator for the Tasmanian devil. You remove the thylacine, or the Tasmanian tiger, because it went after things like wildlife and goats. So it was hunted to extinction. Um, and the Tasmanian devil population has more or less kind of shot out of control. Um, a lot of disease in the Tasmanian population. You know, a lot of stuff like that. So not, not the funnest of things to look at. You know, when you think about how you remove one animal and how it affects an entire population. So, yeah. Hunting. You know, at least not... Don't don't hunt things to extinction. That's not cash money. So we got porcupine, a rat, a skunk, a humpback whale, Alaska moose, chimpanzee. We got a South China tiger. That, unfortunately, is not a hollow. There is a, not an a, official... Um... There's not an official population for the South China Tiger, uh, just because that's kind of how China works. So they went with uh, the number 8, as 8 is a very lucky number in China. Uh, some believe that there are no wild um, South China Tigers. So that one's a little different, just based off of the low population count. Uh, speaking of low population counts, there is a 1 of 1... Uh, hollow Earth, the Orca, is our hollow. Uh, but yeah, there is a one of one hollow Earth, as there is, surprise, surprise, only one Earth in existence. Who would have, who would have thought that one? You know, who saw that one coming? Raise your hands uh, in the back if you saw the one of one Earth coming. You know, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, kind of cool thing right there. Our rare is our brown-headed spider monkey. The Canada lynx. Alright. But I mean, just kind of like Pokemon, where part of Pokemon is a CCG, or collectible card game. Um, and then you have a TCG trading card game. Um, part of it is the ability to kind of collect them. We have our main wolf. Ooh, that one's beautiful. 25,000 for the hollow. Um, is that you kind of have like your more common hollows, just like in Pokemon? You know, you have like your common rares, like how many, how many Giovanni's bosses, or how many, uh, final boss, or uh, bosses orders, that's what the card was called. It had Giovanni and it had Lysander as, uh, the card art. You know, how many of those did we pull? And only a couple packs. A lot. Springtailed lemur is our rare. Narwhal, lion, and a cheetah. So I, I, I don't, I'm not uh, upset or annoyed by the fact it's like, oh hey look we got you know two dugongs, uh, we got two uh, orcas. So I'm like I'm not annoyed by that. I think it's cool. You know they're the more common of the hollow set, so I'm not surprised that we pulled extras of them. We have ooh the snow that's beautiful snow leopard. Um, before we have a print line in there, which is unfortunate. But that's a beautiful card for that Snow Leopard for the Hollow set. It's uh, one of 7,000. Alright. Only a couple packs remaining in uh, this one. Porcupine, Rabbit, Badger... Uh, Warthog, we have the Orca. We have a Hanning Gibbon as our rare. Okapi, and the Polar Bear. Uh, for the Uncommon. 
All right. All right. Um, but as we move through this one right here, we do, I guess as we're coming to the end, we do have a booster box of this. Tasmanian Devils are hollow. Welcome back, Tasmanian Devil. We were just talking about you a little bit ago. Spotted Hyena. Spotted Hyena. I would not mind pulling a Spotted Hyena Hollow. You know, sloths are by far my favorite animal. Uh, but Spotted Hyenas are just like, they're great animals. They're kind of goofy animals when you really think about them. Um, they're like a predator that's not really a predator. They're a scavenger. Um... But because of that, we have a Vancouver Island Marmot, a Polar Bear, Wild Dog, and Giant Anteater. Uh, they're kind of uh, skittish animals where if, uh, they're kind of stalking you, and you kind of make eye contact with them. And you, just like a bear, you act like you're bigger than them. They kind of get scared off by it. And then, yeah. So they're kind of funny animals. Even though they're kind of, you know, everyone kind of thinks of them as, like, the Lion King, and they're, like, ferocious animals. They're really not. Dugong is our hollow. It's, like, our third Dugong. So, I mean, yeah, definitely cornering the market here on the Dugong. So, if you need a Dugong, hit me up. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed what you just saw, hit that like button, comment down below. Especially if you want to see some more of uh, this content sooner rather than later. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed the opening, yeah, hit that like button. Check out the link down in the description below for the Life TCG uh, website. But until next time, YouTube, though, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and we'll catch you on our next opening. Peace.